Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about FTP, the file transfer protocol. It's basically just a way to get files on and off of your server or computer, wherever you're needing to put files out there on the internet. <clears throat> and so first, what you're going to need is an FTP account. Um, hopefully it's already set up and you're just needing to know how to connect to it now. I'm going to show you how to do it with a couple different programs, FileZilla and Fire FTP inside of Firefox. Um, I'm using oneend1.com as my uh, hosting and so if I click inside of my FTP account um, they give me my username right here um, u55062237 and uh, if you click on that you can change the password just like it says right up here um, hopefully you'll know your username and your password and uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, log into that through FileZilla. Um, everywhere here on the left is going to be your actual host computer or whatever you're using. Uh, and then up here in the top, you're going to have these options. Uh, the host is the domain name. So for me and my website, guysgonewired.com, I'm just going to type that in. keyboard is having problems. Sorry. My username. Copy and paste it. And then my password. And then I'm going to hit connect. And it'll open up all my little files and so on the remote site here I have all my folders and files and stuff I've added onto it now if you don't want to use this quick connect option up here you can go to site manager file site manager and new site and it's gonna be the same thing just a different look uh, guys gone wired .com. don't worry about the port make sure you're on FTP log in probably normal if you don't have a login then you you won't have a login username is gonna be that weird thing which I didn't set up one in one set that up for me and then click connect and it's, it's since I'm already connected I'll just abort the previous connection and then start a new one so it just reconnects for me and that's pretty much it so now you can just drag and drop um, files um, just this small thing or whatever over here and it'll do its thing. There's lots of other options, and so pretty much uh, that's it. You can get on your files and folders on your FTP account, and that's uh, FileZilla. Now I'm going to move on to Fire FTP, which um, is already open. So here I'm on my YouTube channel, and I added this little nice little icon up here so it can open up Fire FTP right away. And uh, I'm basically going to click Create an Account and uh, account name is whatever you want to name it um, so just name uh, leave category blank doesn't really mean much and my host is gonna be uh, sorry my typing skills are amazing guysgonewired.com and then my login information would be my username and then my password okay and give it a second I guess we got to click connect and <laughs> that would help. I don't normally use Fire FTP, but it's uh, similar to FileZilla in that all you need is your host, you need your username, and you need your username password. And uh, there you go. Over here on the left, you got your host computer and then your remote site, your server over here on the right. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.